Alrighty guys, and welcome back to the channel for a third episode of Dying Railroad Towns, and today we are looking at Salem, Illinois. Salem, Illinois originally consisted of four different lines that went through town, and now only two of them remain. That goes to show how much Salem has died, but for the next episode, we are going to take a look at a railroad town that was once very busy, that is now almost completely extinct. Probably one of the worst I've ever had to do. On the fourth episode, it's just going to be purely depressing. Because the next railroad town that we are going to document on the next episode is very bad, so stay tuned for that. Anyways here, we're looking at Salem, Illinois for our third episode. So Salem, Illinois originally consisted of a Missouri Pacific Line, which is now out of service. The CSX Illinois Division, which is also out of service. Then the Union Pacific Salem Subdivision, which is not very busy anymore. Yeah, that's about it. So here's a photo of the Union Pacific Salem Subdivision here. This is the train yard. The train yard isn't very big, but it isn't very small either. I mean, it's kind of in between. So, we're going to start with the Union Pacific Salem sub first, the only line that is still in service today. Salem, Illinois gets about 8 trains a day, but you'll hear a lot more than that because you can hear the trains on the Canadian National. The Canadian National line doesn't exactly run through Salem, Illinois, but you can hear the trains blowing on the CN but they're not actually in Salem, they're just right outside of Salem, so I am not counting Canadian National as part of Salem, Illinois, but I mean, you can, but... But, um, Salem, Illinois only gets eight trains a day since the Union Pacific Salem subdivision is the only line that is still left in service, and they're not doing very good either. So anyway, let's take a look at our eight daily trains of the Union Pacific Salem subdivision. So, let's go ahead and start out with mixed freights. We have MSM PB from Salem, Illinois to Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Then we have UPMTTNL, which originates in Kimundi, Illinois and terminates in North Little Rock, Arkansas. The train comes off the CN as M399. The train technically originates out of Toronto, Ontario, but when you look at, at a list of Union Pacific train symbols and see MTTNL, you will see it says Kimundi, Illinois, because that's when it gets onto Union Pacific territory. Then there's the counterpart MNLTT, vice versa of MTTNL, but when it gets on the CN, the symbol is L598. And then there are two other intermodal trains, ILDYC and IYCMX. And then right outside of, and then right outside north of the yard in Salem, you will also see. IDTMX and IMXDT, which both go go or come from the CSX St. Louis line. IDTMX comes off the CSX as Q131, and when IMXDT gets onto the CSX, it's Q132. Back in the good days, let's say maybe the early 2000s. The CSX Illinois Division was still in service at a decent amount of traffic. Now, I can't give an exact estimate, but all I know is that it was not too bad. Now then, for the Union Pacific Salem Subdivision, in the early 2000s, there were about 15 to 20 trains a day. And with the CSX still remaining in service, I'd say on good days that Salem would see probably over 30 a day. And now today, Salem only sees 8 a day, which is really, really bad. That's even worse than Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon had 32 to 37 trains in 2011, and they have 15. That beats Salem. You thought Mount Vernon was bad, just wait till you see how bad Salem is. Like, Salem, Illinois is just terrible, to be honest. I mean, that's really all I can say about the Union Pacific Salem subdivision. The reasoning why it's died this much is because of precision scheduling railroading, which combines trains together, which causes some trains to be abolished, rerouted, and with bigger trains coming to life means bigger derailments. Yeah, it's a mess. But anyways, let's move on to the Missouri Pacific line. 
Now, anyways, I don't know much about the Missouri Pacific because this line shut down a very, very long time ago. As a matter of fact, I don't even think there's any photos of Missouri Pacific trains in Salem, Illinois. Now, when you go on Railroad Picture Archives, you will see photos of Missouri Pacific locomotives and stuff, but they weren't on the actual Missouri Pacific line. They were on the Union Pacific Salem subdivision. But there are no known photos of the former Missouri and Illinois line through Salem, Illinois. But there are still remains of the old abandoned train yard, which I drove through, as you can see in this video. And right here, you can also see a piece of remaining railroad track. These were remains of the old Missouri Pacific line. I don't... I, like, I know nothing about this line. I don't know how many trains they even got, the symbols, or just anything. Like, I have no information on this line. All I know is that it had two owners, Missouri and Illinois, Missouri Pacific. Line is closed. That's all that I know of. All right, so now let's take a look at the most depressing part of this video. As we look at the last line that went out of surface six years ago, and that is the CSX Illinois Division. These are the only photos that I have of the CSX Illinois Division in Salem. The track is out of service west of Flora, Illinois, and further on. But the track in east of Flora, Illinois, are still in service by a by a local grain train by the name of J700. Now then, why would the Illinois Division shut down like that? Well, there is only one reason of why the Illinois Division shut down, and that is the CSX St. Louis line. That is, the CSX St. Louis line is the reasoning of why the Illinois division shut down. Because of the CSX St. Louis line, it's all, it's almost like the Illinois division was pointless. So, the CSX Illinois division would, east, would end by the CE and D subdivision, and then, west it would meet up with the west end of the CSX St. Louis line but the CSX St. Louis line would also go to the CEND subdivision plus the CSX St. Louis line offered a faster and better route for these trains so the Illinois division was just kind of pointless at this point and the St. Louis line was superior there were only so the CSX Illinois Division had shut down in August of 2015, but before that, there were only four trains left in existence on there that were daily, Q234, Q274, Q204, and Q265, and traffic started to massively decline in 2010, and then in 2015 was its final year. For the CSX. Those same four daily trains that ran on the Illinois division still exist today, but you guessed it, they take the St. Louis line now. But I think they have different symbols on there as well, so it's kind of hard to tell which was which. But in the 80s and back on the CSX Illinois division, you'd see Chessy colors, seaboard system colors, the seaboard coastline, you know, all that good stuff. These two photos of a Chessy system and a seaboard system unit were taken on the Illinois division in Salem, Illinois. Then later on, what we would get used to seeing are the CSX colors in, in the late 80s till now. 
This photo is taken of a westbound CSX mixed freight on the Illinois Division crossing the Union Pacific Salem Subdivision Diamond in 1998. It's honestly very unlikely that we are going to see another train on the CSX Illinois Division. The only trains that will occasionally run on the Illinois Division are storage trains, but chances are there's not going to be another one for a while because there is just one in March of 2019. And then there was also one in 2017. But there's probably not going to be much more storage trains anymore. And there's already been some sightings that are getting ripped out. Hope for the CSX Illinois Division is very, very low. So, all, your best bet of seeing another train on the Illinois Division is a storage train. But good luck with that. But, at the same time, you never know. One could still happen. But remember though, you all don't have to worry entirely because there is still a J700 on the Illinois Division. You'll just have to go to Flora, Illinois for that. So if you do want to visit the CSX Illinois Division and catch a train, you still got a chance. Because there could be a J700 out there. It doesn't run every day, it is as needed, but it runs randomly. But we still don't have to entirely worry, and you too can still catch a train on the CSX Illinois Division. Just make sure to go f to Flora or East and you could see a J700. And if you do ever want to visit the CSX Illinois Division, good luck. So there you have it guys. That is how Salem, Illinois became a dying railroad town. It's pretty, pretty upsetting to see and stuff, but things change and we just I have to accept that fact. A lot of the times, change sucks, but there is still some good changes that'll happen. Don't lose hope yet, fellas. Anyways, that's it for today's episode of Dying Railroad Towns, and happy Halloween. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe, of course, for more of my content.